Almost exactly a year ago, the Property Hooks RFC got merged into PHP School. If you've been following my work on Tempest, you know that almost immediately after that, we started working on PHP 8.4 support and included Property Hooks wherever possible. So I think it's fair to call myself an early adapter and I want to look back at how I've been using Property Hooks for the past year. And I realize many people aren't running PHP 8.4 yet, let alone property hooks. So this is probably a good time to get familiar with what I would call one of the most impactful features of the decade. Property hooks, one of the biggest and most detailed RFCs in PHP's history. It took some effort to read through it all. So let me summarize it for you. Property hooks allow you to hook into get and set axes of a property. Think of it as magic get and set methods, but for one specific property. Property hooks are amazing at reducing boilerplate getters and setters, not just from the perspective of the class itself, but also from the outside. Instead of writing this with property hooks, you can write this. And especially within the context of models, value objects and data objects, property hooks make a lot of sense and streamline a class's public API. Now I did mention that the property hooks RFC was huge, that there were a lot of details about it. And like for example, the, the shorthand syntax or virtual properties, properties that only have get axes. And there's a lot to read about references, inheritance and type variance rules as well. But the most important part of property hooks, far more impactful than anything else, is the fact that they can be defined on interfaces. Sounds weird, right? Properties on interfaces but it really makes sense and I'll show you why. Property hooks are essentially shorthands for regular getters and setters, which are methods. If you think about them this way, it makes sense that you need to be able to define them on interfaces. Otherwise, you'd still have to use regular getters and setters whenever you would want to use an interface, which I think is a good practice. So instead of doing this, you can write this. Whatever class implements the book interface is now required to have publicly readable properties. And you can still make them read only or only privately writable. You still have the safety of encapsulated objects, but without a bunch of boilerplate code. Now, besides the argument that property hooks are essentially methods in disguise, there's another reason why they make a lot of sense to appear on interfaces for data and value objects. Over the years, PHP has been adding a lot of features which make it easier to write classes that represent data with properties alone. There are type properties, read-only properties and classes, and constructor property promotion. So you could say that the addition of property hooks empowered a lot of other existing features in PHP as well. That's why I think it's the most impactful change of the past decade. So. What about my experience? I use them a lot on interfaces. Even if this RFC didn't include anything besides properties on interfaces, I would have been happy. The fact that you can hook into a property is of course nice. I do use get hooks kind of regularly. I don't have many use cases for set hooks. Throughout the whole of Tempest's code base, we've only used one set hook. They could make sense for proxy objects like this testing wrapper for caching, but there honestly aren't that many cases for them. The syntax itself is okay. I don't necessarily like that there are multiple ways of doing the same thing. You have shorthand versions and an implicit value variable for set hooks. It's kind of confusing to me. I also found myself writing property hooks after the constructor, which feels kind of weird at first because these are properties. But when you think about them as methods in disguise, I think it makes sense. In the end, I really like property hooks. There is some things to say about them, but they are such a solid feature and I'm so happy that they are in PHP. But I want to know your experience with them as well. So leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.